Julia. Yes? Detective. You wanted to ask me something. May I have my long water? William, you can't let this brief moment in history change things. McConnell, Blake, Sutton, they're just blinks in time. And as for Alberta, I'm sure that when you do get there, it'll be everything you've always dreamed of. Here, that this is where Barnum Brown discovered his Alberta source skeleton. Really? Charlie Sternberg had a camp near here, too. I suppose Blake and Sutton must have worked around here somewhere, also. Who? Barkley Blake and Rudolph Sutton. They were involved in a case I worked on a long time ago. Go down. Wait for your mother. Have you had a chance to visit with your sister? Yes. I received some arresting news from her. Regarding? Your conviction of character. Uh, puns. Feeblest form of humor. Is it true, then? Your arrest. One hot summer evening when I was home from university, my colleagues and I enjoyed swimming off Hanlon's Point. Sans clothing. Most risque. <laughs> I don't know which was worse, being arrested or having your parents find out. I found it. I'm sorry. I found it. The puncture mark. Come see. Listen, listen.
You should wake up now. Why? Because someone's in your room. I don't understand this new form of courting over telegraph lines. Many people have become engaged through letter writing. But this seems so much more impersonal. Yes, I'm a fan of chemistry myself. The way a person smells, the effect they have on you when you're around them. Julia? Yes? I said, can you tell me when you think he might have died? Oh, yes. Um, of course, I, I believe he's been dead roughly three weeks. Three weeks. Most interesting. Thank you, Doctor. <sighs> Dr. Ogden, what brings you here? I was conducting my postmortem on Mr. Summers when I discovered something I felt you should be made aware of. What is it? I discovered this. Embedded in Mr. Summers' fourth vertebrae. The lower right cuspid of a canine. I suspect, given the size, it belongs to a wolf. Which would seem to confirm the inspector's theory of a wolf under a man's control. I, actually, I don't think so. Teeth, especially healthy teeth, don't just break off when ripping through flesh, which made me curious. So I inspected the tooth more closely, and I discovered a straight groove running right through the center of the breakage point. As though the tooth has been drilled through. Exactly. I, well, I thought you'd want to know about it straight away. William, we can't do this. We're both involved. William? William? I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome, Detective. Julia. William. As long as you exist in this world, there will be no other woman for me. Oh, William, I know, but... We can adopt. So many children need a good home. All I need is you. <sighs> Julia Ogden, will you marry me? have hired an army of very expensive lawyers to mount her defense. I doubt she'll hang. She was clever, I'll give her that. Playing innocent and defenseless. Tools women frequently use to attract a man. I don't believe I was aware of that where Arlene was concerned. <laughs> well, of course not. But that's the way the mating dance works, isn't it? The female sends out her signals and the male reacts. She'll toss back her hair, expose her neck, her most vulnerable aspect. Hence the visceral response to the vampire's bite, fangs and such. Yeah, just so, yes. And the lure of steady eye contact, powerful and unblinking. A clearer message could not be sent. <laughs> given it to the detective yet? I'm sorry? The invitation. I knew it! I knew you were coming! You don't know who I am, do you? Pardon my manners. William Murdoch, Jr. Welcome to 1912. Uncle George said you'd be coming. Hurry, 
come on. We're doing an experiment. <gasps> oh. William, you're going to miss it. Coming! I've got to go. Come watch, but you can't let them know you're here. See what I'm born of. So the candle causes the air above it to heat up. And this causes negative pressure relative to the air surrounding it and forces the hot air up. But because it's trapped inside the enclosure, the whole balloon rises up with it. to thy wedded wife, to love her, comfort her, to honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, till death do ye part. I do. And do you, Julia Ogden, take this man to thy wedded husband, to obey him? Obey him? Uh, we're negotiating that. <laughs> Quickly, you have to see this. 